Okay, I just wanted to show you the whole process from start to finish, from getting a fleece and washing it and getting it ready to spin. So this is a beautiful fleece that came from Gordon and Judy Wilson. And it was in this grain bag, which is here. So I've just pulled it out of the grain bag and I've laid it out so that I can see the parts that I need to pull off it. Okay, so here it is now. I've pulled off all the nasty kind of edge pieces. And although a lot of this was taken off when the sheep was sheared, I just went over it again and there's my little pile of stuff I've taken off. And that can all be used in the garden. So here it is. Beautiful fleece. Okay, so next stage is washing. And this is my washing device, which is a skillet from a, a hospital. But it just works great for the fleece. So here you see, I've filled it up with water. And here's my homemade laundry soap that I'm going to wash the fleece with. So here's the fleece going in the skillet. I've already put the laundry soap in and I'm going to push it down gently and take as much hay and yen out. And it's all going to be pushed gently into the skillet. Okay, so it's all pushed in. I'm going to actually get this quite hot. I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to turn it on and just set it get hot. Okay so here we are back at the uh, looking at the fleece again. So I've actually let this go cold. So you can see lucky it is. I think that's pretty dirty. The great thing about this is that it tips. Oh, that mucky water keeps tipping out and it drains away. Actually, usually what I do is I just try and lift this out. of the water sorry if this is a bit jerky as I'm the camera operator as well okay and I am going to have to put this down just to lift that out of the way. So I've taken it out, put it in the basket to drain for a minute and then I'm going to tip out the rest of this mucky water. I get to fill the tub up and start okay, so I'm just going to put the fleece back in now. The temperatures, this is actually kind of cool because it was cool when it came out and the idea would be to keep it at the same temperature as it goes in so we don't shock it too much which will cause it to put felt. It back in again. Just going to push it down under the water. I'm not actually going to get it as hot this time 
because really at this point I'm just trying to rinse it. And I've actually overfilled this, which is not very good. But anyway, there it is, sitting there for the first rinse. So here's the fleece after I've um, washed it and I've rinsed it three times in total, so four, I guess, in all. And here it is, it's still got some bits of hay in it and I'll be picking those out uh, until I'm spinning it really, I suppose. Anyway, now, this is what I do with it, is I've got a clothes rack and I'm just going to put it on the clothes rack. So here's the fleece laid out on uh, a drying rack and I just leave it out here to dry in the sun and maybe a bit of breeze hopefully not too much because then it blows away and as you can see I've got more fleece drying over here so it's a great day for it beautiful okay so this is a picker which looks like a medieval torture device is really dangerous to use but it does a really good job of opening up the fibers before it goes on the powder so what you end up with is this cloud of picked wool that I'm going to take and put into the powder and then the other thing I can show you without hurting myself is that it picks up an absolutely disgusting amount of dirt you can see it in there it's pretty gross so that's a pick so this is all going to get picked ok I'm just going to show you this one more time because it's really disgusting. Look at how much dirt came out of that fleece that's been washed several times or rinsed, washed and rinsed and dyed. And look at it. Amazing. Okay, so I'm going to start the card up. So this is the last part of the process. This is um, a hand drum carder that I use to do the final, um, the fi one more final go through. It's nice and fine and it uh, does a really nice job. It's a pack green and I've had this for a few years now. So I've got, got all the fibre ready to go. I've got some Angora in here and uh, the Romney that's already been through the electric carder and we got some little glitzy bits so it's going to be lovely. So, just 
put it through and hold it. As it goes through. And then once I get a thin layer on, I can add some of the shiny bits here. And then what I like to do is just cover them up with another piece of fleece of the fleece and then they don't get stuck in the and come rolling around on the small drum so I make like a sandwich for any bits that I do want to add in and then if it does stick to it I just take the dotter and just make sure they end up on that big drum and some more and actually usually what I'll do is pack it down I think that's called burnishing. And it keeps the teeth sharp and it helps you get more fleece in. So that's good all round. Little stray piece. Okay, so that was 50 grams. I measured, I weighed it out before I put it on. So then I take the doff the stick and then gently pull it up and break it at the break in the cloth. There, so that's all off. And then I have this plastic sheet that I pull it off with. I think this has a name too. I can't actually remember what it is at the moment. But then using it, you really can get everything out of the carding cloth. And just roll it around. On itself. And there's a beautiful bat.